Yeah, I like to surprise everybody when I open the door and they walk in and there's two cockpits. In terms of the, the development testing that NASA did for this airplane, a lot of it had to do with flight deck instrumentation, types of controls, whether they be sticks and wheels like this or side stick controllers and a lot of other variations, all the glass cockpit stuff. It was developed on this airplane and it was developed in the back in the second cockpit. And almost all the flying was done from the back, uh, probably 80 or 90 percent. And uh, the pilots in the front acted as safety pilots. <laughs> you know what they say, not till the paperwork is done. What are, you, what, what are you doing here? What sort of paperwork? I'm checking my fuel and oil and the start time of my APU. Ninety-three hundred pounds. Okay. So here's my battery. I got twenty-seven and a half volts, which I should have had. Good. Surfaces and chocks are checked, maintenance status checked, thrust reverser switches are normal, the battery is checked, the non-system beep pumps are off, the gear lever is down, radar is not installed, the flaps are checked, oh, overheat warning. Those little babies about to come alive hopefully. Those are my fireballs. Doors opening, starters engaged. Have a light. Number 1737 is about to get born again. Starter is out. Have a good start. So the APU started at 1120. So there's the elevation there. It's showing about 1190 feet. Here's the elevation here at the ramp, which is uh, 1180, so it's within. 10 feet. Uh, the light test here. Set the parking brake here. Stand 
by Horizon. Extending the flaps and opening the thrust reverses so we can do a walk around. So The 737 has gone on to be the best-selling airplane in commercial aviation history. Um, there are over 5,000 have been ordered, and 